This year, so far, we have released 25 new courses. We've hit a milestone of 100 courses on the platform. We have another 25 courses coming out through the rest of the year. There is the new AWS track available on CodeCloud Engineer. The multi-language support is coming in CodeCloud. We'll be at some of the Kubernetes conferences. There is a free week coming up and some very exciting product updates about CodeCloud AI, which I will share a sneak peek of at the end of this video. Welcome to yet another quarterly update. I'm Umshad Manambeth, and this is CodeCloud. Now, before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss an update. Starting with our course updates, we've released nearly 25 new courses in the first half of this year. But before we dive into those, I want to highlight a major achievement. CodeCloud recently reached a significant milestone by releasing our 100th course. That's over 5,000 hours of videos and 800 plus hands-on labs. It's been an incredible journey since 2019, and none of this would have been possible without the support from our amazing community and the CodeCloud team, the CodeClouders. So this 100th course is dedicated to all the families that support our students and CodeClouders. And so it is a special one. It's Chaos Engineering on AWS FIS by Nasia Ullas. So this course is designed to help you build stronger systems by testing how they handle failures. So you'll start with the basics like fault injection simulations to see how your system responds to different disruptions. The course also shows you how to apply chaos engineering in real world scenarios, testing the resilience of platforms like EC2 instances, Amazon Aurora databases, and Kubernetes EKS clusters. We have recently released three key courses targeting major certifications. So the first is the AWS Certified Developer Associate course led by Sanjeev. So this course prepares you for the 130 minute AWS Developer Associate exam, which features multiple choice and multiple response uh, questions. So Sanjeev covers everything you need to know to succeed in this exam with high quality content, labs. This is the only course for the AWS Developer Associate certification that has Cloud Labs in it in every section. You will be given specific challenges to solve on our AWS environments for the topics you learn. And there is a no better way to remember what you learned than by actually doing it. And the mock exams at the end of the course will help you get confident for the actual exam. Next, we've launched a course for the GitHub Actions uh, certification. So GitHub recently introduced five major certifications, including the GitHub Foundations, GitHub Actions, GitHub Advanced Security, GitHub Administration, and GitHub Copilot. So our GitHub Actions uh, course focuses on mastering workflow automation and optimizing CI-CD pipelines. It's designed to help you streamline tasks and accelerate development, ensuring you are fully prepared to demonstrate your proficiency with a GitHub Actions. And finally, we've also released the AZ900 Azure Fundamentals course. So this course covers the core principles of cloud computing, how Azure fits into the cloud ecosystem, key Azure services, navigating the Azure portal, and managing Azure resources. It also dives into Azure pricing, fundamental security, compliance, privacy concepts, and Azure Active Directory. Now, if you're planning to achieve the most basic Azure certification, this course is the perfect starting point. We've also introduced a course that's quite unique from our usual courses, but absolutely is essential, enhancing soft skills for DevOps engineers led by our principal trainer, none other than Michael Forrester himself. I have to say, I wish I had uh, taken this course in the early stages of my career. Communication is crucial aspect for today's engineers, and this course addresses that head on. So whether you're a beginner or seasoned pro, I highly encourage you to take this course, you're bound to gain valuable insights and skills that will enhance your effectiveness in any working environment. We've also released a new set of Learn By Doing courses. We believe that hands-on experience is invaluable when learning new concepts, and this lineup includes four courses. So there's Prompt Engineering, uh, there's HashiCorp Nomad, Deploying and Managing EFK Stack on K8s, and the K8s Policies with Kiverno. These courses are highly practical and fun to do. Now, you know that WebAssembly has been um, picking up pace in recent past and is becoming one of the most revolutionary technologies since containers. Simply put, Wasm allows you to run applications written in languages like Java, C Hash, and C++ directly in your browser. And given its uh, growing importance, we decided to cover the fundamentals of Wasm. So I've released a course titled Exploring WebAssembly for Beginners, designed to introduce you to this powerful technology and help you get started with it. 
Now, AWS continues to dominate the cloud market, holding a 31% share in Q1 2024. There's no doubt that continuing to invest in AWS Learning is a great choice. To support your learning journey, we have released several new courses, including AWS CloudWatch, EKS, Networking Fundamentals, and a hands-on AWS project on deploying a crypto app. So if you're looking to sharpen your skills around AWS, now is the perfect time to dive in. Now, all of these are deep dive courses into AWS services that are hands-on. So these are the only AWS courses out there that have in-depth hands-on labs that are challenging and validates your work and gives you feedback instantly. Now, AI and LLMs are some of the most popular technologies today, and we have released a couple of major courses targeting this area. So first, you might have heard of Langchain. It's an innovative platform that allows developers and AI practitioners to harness the power of advanced LLMs like GPT-4 for creating dynamic applications. So we've released a course on Langchain led by Janaki Ram. Next, we have a course on Gates GPT by Michael, which explores how AI can enhance Kubernetes management. So this course introduces how AI can streamline and optimize uh, your Kubernetes operations. Now, we have a number of them coming up um, uh, for the rest of the year. In addition to these, we have uh, recently rolled out several other courses, including Linux system administration and an update to LFCS course uh, with uh, Jeremy Morgan, GitLab CI/CD, OpenTOFU, KS Networking Deep Dive, and TerraGrun for beginners. So these courses are packed with valuable content, so be sure to check them out. Now let's look at what's planned at CodeCloud for the rest of the year. In Q3, we'll be rolling out more courses, such as the KCSA. So the only missing course for the Cube Astronaut series on our platform is KCSA. And we're excited to announce that it is on track to be released this month. So with this, you will have all five courses that you need to become a true Cube Astronaut. And we've also introduced a brand new learning path for becoming a Cube Astronaut. So be sure to check that out here. It's essential to have hands-on experience when you join the industry as a DevOps engineer. So working on real world projects uh, beforehand can be incredibly beneficial. So with this in mind, we're excited to announce that in Q3, we'll be releasing a project-based course titled Building High Efficiency CI-CD Pipeline for Scalable Web Applications. So stay tuned for more details on that. Now, apart from this, uh, we've got a 19 hour long course on Python API development by Sanjeev a more detailed Jenkins course uh, for beginners, Kubernetes troubleshooting for the uh, application developer. And in uh, Q4, we're planning to cover the remaining Azure certification courses. So we have the AZ400 and the AZ204 in the pipeline. Additionally, we're also releasing a course for AI900, the Azure AI fundamentals. Now, you might have heard that the CKS certification is getting an update this September. So we're already working on updating the CKS course and is expected to be released soon this month. And we'll have three Learn by Doing courses in Q4. So that's the Microsoft Autogen, Kafka, and Grafana. And on top of that, we'll have courses on CompTIA Security Plus certification, uh, Nginx, a programming course on Rust, we have two Jenkins courses targeted at intermediate and advanced audiences. We have the K8 auto scaling and a number of AI courses such as MLOps fundamentals, LLOps uh, on Azure, and OpenAI intro course, and also the AWS certified AI practitioner course. So to stay updated on when these courses launch, I highly recommend subscribing to our uh, channel, our newsletter, and also follow us on social media. So don't miss that out. Next, we have some major and exciting updates coming to our learning platform. So we recently released a newer version of the Code Cloud Learning Platform earlier this year in June. So the new learning platform opens a lot of opportunities for us. And uh, so you'll be seeing better onboarding, better course recommendations, better, more trackable learning paths, better labs and newer hands-on experiences going forward. And hopefully the Code Cloud mobile app, which you've all been asking for. So one of the few and immediate um, features that we'll be releasing is having high quality subtitles and translations in many different languages, including French, Spanish, uh, Portuguese, Chinese, Arabic, Hindi, Japanese, Russian, and Korean. If you'd like more languages, please request us and we can make that available. Now, once we're done with that, uh, next, we're also looking at making all of the courses available in multiple different languages. So CodeCloud is now going to be literally made accessible for all. Now, of course, all of these are made possible 
with the support of recent advancements in AI. And I'll be sharing a video on how we managed to do that in our backend. So very soon um, on this channel. So remember to subscribe to the channel to be notified when we release that video. Now, another major update we have is on CodeCloud Engineer. So if you aren't aware already, so CodeCloud Engineer is our job simulation platform. We recently added the AWS track with a number of AWS tasks. You're given specific AWS challenges to solve and after you solve them, new tasks are unlocked and you gain points. So we have three levels of uh, this uh, available as of now and we'll soon have similar ones available for Azure and Google Cloud in the near future. The next major update is about CodeCloud for Business. So if you're not already aware, CodeCloud for Business is our product for helping businesses upskill their employees. Now, once onboarded, businesses can invite their employees seamlessly to CodeCloud, set up single sign-on to log in with their company accounts, and also view detailed tracking and analytics through the business dashboard. So do check it out at codecloud.com business and help us get in touch with your team. By the way, a reminder to wait till the end uh, of this video to learn about the most important and exciting upgrade to our platform, which I haven't revealed yet. Now moving on to community engagement. So earlier this year, we had the opportunity to meet a number of you at the Kubernetes Community Days event in Cochin in Kerala. We will be attending the KubeCon event in North America and we'll be presenting at the Cloud Native University track during the co-located events where we will speak about AI-assisted hands-on learning, which is the future of tech education. So we hope to see you there for our talk. And finally, KubeCon is going to India for the first time and we're proud sponsors. So it's an exciting opportunity for us to connect with you if you happen to be there and we will have a lot of uh, fun activities planned. Now, a little bit about CodeCloud itself. So people often ask how CodeCloud is doing and what it's like to work at CodeCloud and what's the culture like? So I thought I'd take a moment to share that. So CodeCloud has grown tremendously in the past four years from a team of a few members uh, to about 85 as of today. CodeCloud is a bootstrapped uh, organization, which means we have not raised any external funding and we value sustainable, profitable, yet fast growth while creating tremendous value for our users. CodeCloud was recently recognized as the fourth fastest growing startup in Singapore and the 14th high growth companies in Asia Pac, as reported by Financial Times. Now we're fully remote and uh, a global organization. We have a diverse team from all over the world, including Singapore, India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, US, Canada, Ireland, Philippines, Vietnam, Bosnia, Ukraine, and Moldova. Now, while we are a remote organization, we truly value meeting in person. And so we get together once a year to catch up with each other and discuss our learnings from the past and our direction in the future. So in March earlier this year, we had an amazing four day gathering in Bangkok, Thailand. It was a memorable experience filled with our all hands meeting where we discussed the future of CodeCloud. Uh, we had an award ceremony to recognize our top performers and some fun team building activities around Thailand. Now, if you're interested in joining a team of exceptional people are ready to learn and grow as part of a global team, do take a look at our careers page for the latest opportunities. Now, as of today, we are hiring for DevOps and cloud engineers. We have various marketing roles that are open as well as data engineers. So please have a look at our careers page today. And finally, for the most exciting update that I had promised, now, one of the common issues our students face while working on our labs is not getting enough support fast enough. So what if you had someone alongside you at all times helping you every step of the way? We've been cooking up the next generation of hands-on learning experience, one that uses the power of our labs and combines that with the power of AI. So I want to introduce our new AI assistant in labs that can help you learn better by being a companion throughout and it's pretty incredible at how it can see what you're doing and tell you exactly what might be wrong and give you the correct recommendations. So here is a quick exclusive sneak peek into what is coming at CodeCloud in the very near future. Hi, CodeCloud AI Assistant. It says create a new pod with the NGINX image. Perfect. To create a new pod with the NGNX image, you can execute the command to run NGNX with the image set to NGNX. Go ahead and execute that command and let me know how it goes. What does an NGNX image mean? 
That's a great question. Just think of the Nginx image as a ready-to-use package that allows you to run a web server. It's like having a pizza delivered instead of making it from scratch. Now, are you ready to run the command to create the pod? It's a great explanation. So I ran the command and it says error unknown flag. Could you check that for me, please? It looks like the task of creating a new pod with the Nginx image was not completed successfully. The result indicates that either the pod named Nginx does not exist or it has an incorrect image. To troubleshoot this issue, you can check if the pod exists and what image it is using by running the command to get the pod named Nginx in the default namespace. If the pod does not exist, you can create it by executing the command to run nginx with the nginx image in the default namespace. This will create a new pod with the correct nginx image. Give it a try and let's get that web server up and running. And with that, I will let you be. If you liked this video and want to see more such updates, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Uh, your feedback in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button below to get notified whenever we release a new video. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one.